Hey, I'm Jill with Whip Royal Jewelry, and I work in metal clay. Um, I'll show you what I use mostly. I, this is my favorite. It's the PMC3. It's um, .999 fine silver. And the way they make um, metal clay is they take actual, the metal, like silver, and they'll um, grind it down into a real fine powder, and then they add binders and water and make a clay into it. So then you, you get the clay and um, you you can make it whatever shape you want to. You can then dry it and let it dry. You can carve it, sand it. You know, I use like an emery board on the edges to clean it up. You can drill little holes in it to put your jump rings in. And um, then, if, you know, then you just put it in your keel or you can um, use a little, little butane torch. But I use it in the keel and um, fire it and it comes out beautifully but anyway this is my favorite it's the pmc3 and then i also use the pmc flex this is great to use um this is not good for when you're carving like hand carving things so uh and it is flexible so it's flexible until you fire so if you need to make something that you can uh you know make wavy or something this would be what you'd use um, I also use copper clay, and that is exactly what it is. It's copper, and then I use white copper clay. This is something I started using, and I love it. I love it. It is nickel and copper, and it looks great. It looks like the silver, but I'm sure it's going to patina, and I can't wait to see how it looks after it patinas. Um, and it's a whole lot cheaper. Let me show you. This is... 50 grams and it's just under a hundred dollars this is 30 grams and it's just almost ten dollars so that did anything um okay and another thing i've been doing to to that i wanted to show you is i take sculpey clay this is um it's a polymer clay and this is in a black color because i used to use it on something i used to make um but with it, you make whatever you want, and then you put it in the oven and bake it for 20 to 30 minutes, whatever the package says. It's a low, low heat uh, bake. And when it comes out, it's like hard plastic like that. But you see my little uh, bulldog I made? I made that out of polymer clay. Ooh! And, um, and I just did this. Because I, okay, from that... Then I use my um, two-part mold putty. Um, I get that at Hobby Lobby. But see, it comes in a yellow and a white. I'm almost out of this one. I've got tons of this stuff though. But a yellow and a white. And you just take equal amounts, like a pea-sized amount of the yellow, pea-sized amount of the white. And you just mix it together with your fingertips. Don't let too much heat from your hands get in there or start curing. Um, anyway, and then I roll it into a ball. I'll, I'll do an example of this. Say I roll this into a ball, and then I put it on a playing card. I like to work on playing cards. It makes everything easy to move around. And then I'll press it down just a little bit with my uh, like snake roller, uh, just to make it a little flat. And then you would take like this that I've baked, and it's hard, and just press it down into it, and you have a mold. All right, so that's what I did here. I made a mold out of my bulldog. You can see I've already used it. Because I just put some, oh, I'm telling you, I've already dropped this once. <laughs> it's making me mad. All right, so this is, uh, I just put it in there, it's not dry. But see, I put it into my mold, my bulldog mold. And I've got, it's a wet one, so I gotta be careful. But when it dries, I can clean it up carve in a little bit more. I can um, then put a bell on it or I can um, unveil, putting bells on them are easy. So if you don't know how to do that, just let me know. Um, and then fire it and it'll be cute. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Um, and another thing, I did it in the white copper. With the white copper, it, um, it comes out all brown and rusty looking out of the keel. And then I just um, cleaned it up, and when I did, in all the crevices, the the dark color was in all the little crevices. So 
I didn't even have to use liver sulfur if to get that look in there. And I don't know how I would get it out if I didn't want it there, but I think it was good there. All right, so I did the bulldog that I did. I just put on the card and I just did it until I had it the way I liked it. And then, um, what else did I do? I did this. I just rolled up some little balls and made a square. And see, and I've made a mold of that. So I'm thinking that will make some cute earrings. Um, what else did I do? This is one of my favorite things. I love the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And I made a paw print stamp. And look, I just used the, the uh, polymer clay and made me a little handle. And then on the end, I shaped a paw print. And now I have it. I can just press it into the clay and put that shape into anything I want. You can do that with anything. Just saying, you can do it with anything. Okay, so then after I bake all those and I use my putty and see, I went crazy last night. This is an uh, actual arrowhead. And I made a mold of it. And let me tell you the secret you can do with this. Okay, put your little oil I already have on this. But I can put my clay in here um, that I want to make a mold of. And so it won't be so thick and use so much clay. I put it in there and then I use it. Instead of putting it, making it flat like that with the snake roller, I would then take my um arrowhead and press it down and make clay come out and so it makes it thinner and it'll be concave because see how it's shaped and so i won't be using all my clay on this one chunky piece um and i think that's all i was going to tell you about that anyway and so now i cannot wait to finish this stuff and fire it so I can show you. But um, this is a, a keychain I'm making. This is actually the white copper. It it starts out looking all brown like this, and then you um, when you fire it though, and you clean it up, it's not like that at all. But see, this is um, I, it's like a little cracker biscuit thing. I could break it if I wanted to. I can carve into it. I can drill. I can do all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, I think that's all I was going to show you. Is you oh, I'll show you how to put some. I was going to show you how I put the white copper plate into this mold and see how it does. You know, actually, I. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I use Badger Ball. Uh, this keeps the clay from sticking to your hands real bad. And my hands are really dry. Let me turn this around for you. To get um, badger balm, you can use stuff like um, olive oil though to do this too. But sometimes that just makes too big a mess. All right, so here is my white copper clay that I'm finishing up on. work it um, if it's a little dry you can this is distilled water that I keep in all this spray bottle just does a little fine mist on it and y'all I seriously love working in metal clay and if you have any questions or anything else you want to see I'd be happy to show you Oh, and follow me on um, Facebook and Instagram. 
and of course like this video and subscribe um i just i haven't been doing anything on here much and then i look and i'm like lord i've got like 23 24 subscribers i was like when did that happen so i'm just curious as to what y'all like and let me tell you something else there's no way to find out who's watching my videos i mean i could have people i know <laughs> people i know could be watching it so if you're watching it give me a little shout out i'd love to know who's watching it. hopefully it's nobody i know all right so here i've got my clay and i guess since this is um i don't know how i'm gonna do this i'm just gonna press it down And you know, it doesn't matter if you have your fingerprints on the back of something. You can always sand it off. But I just think it just makes it look more hand. I mean, because it is handmade. Heck, I made every one of these balls and made them old. Um, so there we go. It's going to dry. I cannot wait to pop it out. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know if I have enough to do this. I don't think I do. Alright, so I'm gonna put this up. I always like to fill a little extra water. They say keep this in the refrigerator, but I don't. And this is what I do. I roll it up, put it back in the package, and then I spray down in the package and that just keeps all right so that's it that's my how I make molds um, of original things this bulldog these little uh, balls made into a square that's all completely original um, because I just did it. Um, and unless you have this mold, you can't duplicate it exactly. So, if you have any questions, just let me know.